Whatever it takes, they reach for it. Whatever they need for London, they go for it. And whatever is standing between them and a gold medal is what drives them. Every stroke, every day. Canada's rowers are some of the best in the world, winning four medals in the 2008 Olympics. And with the 2012 London Games less than a year away, the top athletes who row on the South Island are already planning for victory. Gold. That's my gold. But imagine rowing on Elk Lake in the rain and the wind, not exactly the best conditions for training. So for the last four years, work has been underway to bring that training inside. And now a high performance facility is ready to be put to the test. Uh, it's hard enough as it is to pull hard, pull good splits, pull hard on the erg, uh, to be doing it outside in the wind and the cold, especially in Victoria, is, uh, is tough. Three, two. So $300,000 in funding from three Canadian sport organizations came together to build this new Athlete Endurance Training Centre at the Pacific Institute for Sport Excellence in Saanich. It will give local, high-performance athletes, like the National Men's Rowing Team, their own dedicated space and the time they need to train as much as they can. This is what a sport institute is all about. It's about providing um, an opportunity to really give the athletes the highest level training environment possible to compete against the best in the world. The 2400 square foot building has just three ergometers in it now, but soon 25 athletes will be here dripping with sweat, testing their bodies to maximize their training. It's, it's every stroke we take, so it's just going to allow us to continue to focus on what we do. Every session is important, every training is important. Our erg sessions are tremendously important, it's a huge part of our program. Uh, and to have a dedicated facility is just going to allow us to focus that much more and, and get her done. We're looking to target five medals uh, this upcoming Olympics in London. And it's not easy to do that, so it takes a lot of hard work and we're going to put in a lot of that hard work here. And inspiring that work is Mark Lowry, a former director for the Canadian Olympic Committee who had a long association with rowing. The Mark Lowry Foundation provided the seed money for the training centre and his widow Jennifer and son Brendan were front and centre to help cut the ribbon. I think he might actually be speechless. <laughs> um, rowing was, uh, Mark had a very soft spot, spot in his heart for rowing. He uh, worked for rowing for many years and uh, um, I think that he'd be very impressed with this. The new indoor training centre is just one of a few high performance centres growing on the South Island. Take Langford's new sportsplex, now home to Rugby Canada's headquarters. Hugh McDonald of Sport Host Victoria says centres of excellence for rowing and rugby should help the South Island attract other national sport associations. Uh, Olympic sports both summer and winter require 12-month training and Victoria for summer sport is, as I say, very unique in the country because there aren't too many other cities that can host outdoor training in the wintertime. And McDonald says discussions are underway with Soccer Canada to bring the national team to Victoria to train, with a focus on the women's program. In the meantime, Canada's national rugby players are expected to start training in Langford full-time in the new year, with major international events and tournaments to begin shortly after. In Saanich, I'm Nikki Ewanishan for The Daily.